Okay, we got a little bit of light in here. We're gonna need a little more so we can see what's going on. So let's just copy these real quick, do some rough lighting just so we can kind of see in here. In this lecture, we're actually gonna talk about the navigation mesh more. Let's turn all our lights to static. Because those aren't gonna be moving, they're not gonna be changing yet. We might make them interactive at some point. Okay, so now we can see in here, everything's good, everything's bright. You can see that default mesh that is the floor plate in the default level template is still here. And that's actually what our navigation mesh is interacting with. And we don't want that. That's going to interfere with the actual floor that we want to use. So let's just delete that. Okay, and you'll see that's what our navigation looks like currently, which is great. There's a big empty spot here, which we will need to figure out how to fix. But you can see that the navigation is working. One important thing with this, and I already have it done because these meshes have it. When you import, you have the opportunity to automatically assign collisions to all the objects. I recommend not doing that. But that means you'll have to go in and manually apply collisions to objects that you want collisions on. We've seen this before. But for the nav mesh, it's important. So let's look. With this floor, if you select that mesh and then double click and go into the mesh editor, you can go up here and go to collisions and say show collision, simple collision. And you see that green box appear. And then that can just be edited like any normal object. If the collision was not there, we could go to collision, add box simplified collision, and there you go, save. Okay, that tells the navigation mesh that that's not something you'll fall through, and so you can see that it's going along this floor. This object here, the stairs, same thing. An important element here was to make sure that if you just applied a box collision to this, the collision would go here, out to here, and then down. So when you were navigating, you'd be actually walking on air out in this area. So I took two box collisions, one here, and then copied it and dragged it down a little bit to here. So the solid surface and the collisions line up properly. Okay, now I've been refining a little bit more. What I'm doing is making sure that the nav mesh goes up high enough to take in those stairs. This is it right here. You see if I go in here, it goes up above the stairs, which is good. Not quite getting back into there yet. I've also been adjusting the settings, which are here. If you go to settings up top and go to project settings, you can navigate down to engine, navigation mesh. Okay, so engine, navigation mesh. And here's where you will find all the settings under the generation tab is what we want. So you can change the overall size of the cells or tiles, I guess they're called. It'll only let you go so low. Okay, cell size two. If I set that to 10, you'll see that it's giving a lot of space around these chairs and this other stair area. So I want that smaller so it fills in the gaps more. Cell height is just how high that thing is showing off the ground. So this is the top of the cell, I believe. That doesn't really matter. If you set it to one, it'd be right on the ground. Now, max slope and agent step height is gonna be important to get up those stairs properly. Okay, everything's looking good right now except for this area. So let me mess with settings and come back and let you know exactly how to make it work. Okay, did I mention that the navigation mesh can give you fits? It absolutely does. I think I have it mostly working right now. I could refine more still, but the most frustrating thing is that it doesn't update properly when you change settings and it just doesn't work like you expect it to until you close out of this project and open it again and then it shows up completely differently than what it was showing. So you need to get your settings right and then possibly reset and you can always go to build and then go to build paths and it will rebuild the paths. And even when I opened this project again, after I adjusted my settings, closed it down, opened it again, it didn't show up at all until I hit build paths. And now it's like this and it's basically right. So I was confused and rightfully so because it wasn't showing like this at all until I reset. So let me show you the settings that I'm getting. And this is a known bug as far as I know, they haven't fixed it yet. Um, so keep that in mind. Project settings, navigation mesh, 
And let me just tell you the basics of this. The things that you need to pay attention to are basically the step height, the slope height, make sure that it can go in the areas you want it to. And then all these cell sizes and agent radiuses, agent heights, mostly these cell height, cell size, the different sizes of these things are basically making sure that the navigation is fitting into all the nooks and crannies that you want it to. Okay, so you'll see if you put an object in here with a collision on it, it would have a certain radius around it that the navigation wouldn't touch. You can adjust all that stuff to make it fill the gaps that you want it to. So those are the important things to keep in mind. And now we have it sloping up these stairs and up onto here. So the important thing is the collisions on your objects and then getting those navigation settings right so that you can actually navigate up. So let's take a look at this and see what it looks like. As you can see, I'm standing here in the theater. And when I navigate, I've got a nice laser beam pointing to where I want to go. The arrow is sitting on the surface that I want to transfer to, which is exactly what I want. And you can see I can actually go down those stairs right there, go right on that stair or down onto this floor, and then I can go up onto the little step up here. So everything is actually navigating how I want it to, just like so. Okay, so if you don't set this up right, you'll actually be standing in the floor here, and that's not what you want because that's not realistic. So get that navigation right so that when you navigate around, you're standing on the proper surfaces. So that navigation mesh is gonna be an important part of any VR scene. And like I said, it can give you fits. Hopefully, having been warned, you're aware of this, and hopefully by the time you're watching this and trying to do it, the Unreal Engine editor has improved its nav mesh capabilities to work a little bit better. Because right now, they just don't act exactly how I want it to. But knowing that should help you in getting everything to work. And really, the only problem in this one is the fact that we have these stairs. That's what made it difficult, but I think we've got it working. So follow my settings. I'll give you a screenshot of my settings so you can match them. Not that they're perfect. I just tweak them until they work. Okay. Okay, here are all my settings, the ones that apply to the nav mesh that are important right here in this area, generation. Okay, so take a look at those numbers, match yours to that, make sure you have the proper collisions on your objects and your nav mesh should work just fine. It might take a reset and a rebuild, but other than that, it should work.